So let's yeah, play this through. We may have a tornado warning that might be coming for near Fort Worth. Right here is where I'm watching. And then if you look at the correlation coefficient, there was a CC drop before. Again, this is not a tornado warning officially from the national. I just happened to be looking and it looks pretty notchy right here, this little notch. So this is going to be south of Benbrook. Pull this back a little bit. It's moving kind of northeast. So we're talking about between Fort Worth and Forest Hill. Um, Kennedale too, if this kept its track, if this was a tornado. Okay, I definitely think you see this newest run here, Taylor. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see exactly what you're talking about. I think this is, if it's a tornado, it's kind of hooking, it's wrapping up. So I want people to act like this is a tornado warning. It's not a tornado warning right now, officially from the National Weather Service of uh, Fort Worth and Dallas. I want you, if you're watching and you have people in this area or you are in this area, I'm going to zoom back in on it. There's the wide view. You can see again, Fort Worth, this is to the south side of you. So Benbrook, this is not going to be impacting you. This is going to be to the east of you. But if you were in Fort Worth, if you were near downtown Fort Worth, Forest Hill, Kennedale, areas ahead, I mean, Arlington, you're eventually going to be in this path too. Again, this is not a tornado warning, but I am watching where this is wrapping up right now, just because this and the radar kind of gives me pause. I mean, at bare minimum, it is heavy rain in this area. Most likely, we're going to add to that also those high winds that Michaela was talking about, and of course, that potential tornado as well. You know, in this long line of storms, you can often have these embedded tornadoes that what they'll do is they'll drop down they'll pick back up they'll drop down they'll pick back up at night that is wildly difficult to identify on radar and in person so it may be very very difficult for not only us but also the national weather service to identify exactly what's happening here this would be where my mouse is this is highway 20 this is 35 west going into downtown fort worth this is still that area of circulation that we're watching for uh, you can kind of see it wrapped up here, still where these greens and these reds are touching, would be where we're talking about the potential for a tornado uh, over here. You can see as well, too, where I'm circling. This would be, if, again, this is not ground clutter, this would be our area that we would be watching for the potential for some debris. Um, it is very close to the radar. It was kind of showing up a little bit beforehand, so I don't want to say, oh, for sure, this is a tornado, but based off of the radar, uh, the reflectivity picking up a little bit more, the velocity as well and then the cc drop uh the correlation coefficient drop i just really wanted to jump on and kind of highlight this for people too i'm trying to see if national weather service fort worth has mentioned anything about it because it looks very very notchy i mean this is exactly what we'd see i don't see anything online that they've mentioned about this identifying if they think that's strong wind or if they think that's some sort of rotation i mean it's i think very obvious rotation but we'll have to see what they come out and say about that um well i absolutely keep an eye on that that's especially a with great the location, it's just getting ready to move into fort worth 